welcome to all uh, in this video we will see the features of linux operating system in the previous uh, video i have uploaded some concepts of uh, linux operating system as well as its history and uh, some information about kernel but here we will see what are the features actual features of uh, linux operating system there are many features when we talk about operating system uh, and when we compare the operating system with the rest of the or other flavors of the operating system available in the world uh, definitely linux will be having its own uh, features as well as importance i can say its its own versions will be there its own types will be there and uh, there are major uh, positive points which we can uh, list out uh, with respect to linux operating system so uh, let us see one by one the first one is free and inexpensive they say that free and inexpensive that means uh, uh, for uh, installing or for downloading linux any flavors almost any flavors of operating system it will be available for for free and you are going to get the iso file uh, from the internet and you can directly download it from the internet you can install the operating system in your you know uh, pc or desktop it, it may be anything mm -hmm. So that is the reason why we say it is free. So you don't need to pay anything to that particular operating system. You probably know that for Windows, uh, if you are going for genuine Windows or, you know, paid windows then it may cost around uh, 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 4 to 5 k's okay 4 to 4000 to 5000 rupees so but in case of uh, linux operating system uh, you don't have this much uh, issues directly you can download it and you can install the uh, linux operating system and you can uh, work on it so that is the thing then inexpensive that is the reason why they say and you have the concept called gpl general public license okay because of that uh, they provide so many uh, you know softwares it may be or so many uh, operating flavors of op operating system uh, to the uh, uh, internet so that you can download it from the internet and you can install and you can start using it the second thing is stable and flexible so almost all uh, linux operating systems are stable you don't need to uh, the, you know worry about the stability of the system it mo it won't you know you may not see any lags or you may not see any uh, frequent crashes I, I can say like that because in some in some cases you might have seen some of the operating system uh, the flavors of some other operating systems which are available may get crashed okay you you would have seen some error messages popping out and uh, you may be say, uh, seeing that un, I know, uh, you know unexpectedly you are going to restart the system or shut down the system there are so many uh, uh, different kind of issues which you can see from uh, or uh, you know if you are using some other operating system apart from linux so you may be experiencing it but uh, when it comes to linux flavors uh, very rarely you can see such kind of issues so that is the reason why i say they, uh, it is stable and flexible the second the, the third one is fast and reliable obviously linux operating systems are very fast and uh, in in case of reliability also it is uh, highly reliable also because when it when you say that it is fast uh, indeed it will be fast compared to rest of the operating system uh, because of its simplicity or you know the usage of resources or you know efficient usage of resources and uh, the code those who have written or it is something like as it is an open source operating system linux all the almost all the flavors are open source so that that is the reason why uh, if there are any issues definitely the community or the developer community i can say or those who are contributing their own algorithms or codes to that particular operating system will definitely boost its uh, you know uh, speed so that is the reason why it is fast and reliable and you don't see much issues with respect to linux operating system the fourth one is easier to use definitely indeed it is a easier uh, to use operating system i uh, you might have used ubuntu uh, almost most of the you know institutions or you know almost all the computers laboratories will install ubuntu itself they don't go for any other flavors of operating you know linux flavors but um, Mm, uh, you, you would have used also so, so the graphical user interface will be very easy but if you are uh, very new to 
linux definitely you may find somewhat difficulty to understand the you know terminologies because in see in, in uh, windows if i come kind of consider then uh, if you want to go to any if you want to create some word documents or ppt definitely you go for ms office isn't it microsoft office flavor there are my ms word ms uh, you know powerpoint uh, so such kind of uh, softwares will be there isn't it excel sheet for excel sheet also ms will be having its own uh, you know uh, tools but when it comes for uh, you know linux you don't have the concept of ms they have libreoffice okay the separate concept separate tool will be there for creating uh, uh, its own you know documents so if you are very new then definitely you may uh, take some more time to understand the concept otherwise uh, it will you know uh, it will be very easy okay rest of the operating system whatever available the linux will be very easy to use that is the reason why i say they it is easier to use and the, the next point is a robust programming and uh, application environment so it supports definitely it supports uh, the programming uh, you know uh, there are so many packages may, uh, available using which you can uh, run almost all kind of programming languages which are available and uh, it may be application also uh, you you will have so many application which are supporting linux so um, if you install wine there is one uh, application called or platform called wine from which you can run the windows applications also using you know in linux platform you can run windows application also but there should be some middleman isn't it because the code or the see in in windows you have executable files exe files dot exe extension files but you may not run that exe file in linux platform that is the reason why you need something called uh, you know wine it is a it is like a middleman okay so it will uh, convert or it will it will it will give the platform so that you can run the exe if you know files on linux operating system that is the reason why and that is the main reason why we say linux are virus free Uh, usually linux won't get attacked attacked by virus because almost all virus or almost the developers those who are trying to write the you know uh, you know virus programs uh, usually it will be in uh, auto run or you know exe files dot exe extension as linux will not support direct it will directly don't support exe files that is the reason why uh, easily virus softwares or virus programs cannot install by default cannot install in linux and it cannot run in linux easily so that is the reason why i say i am not saying that you cannot create the virus for linux you can write you know scripting there are there you can go for some some scriptings but but the security provided by the linux platform is very high and for each and every installation for each and every updating for everything using command line or you know outside the uh, you know it may be outside you know using browser or from internet you may download some programs but ultimately to install something in linux you need password so without the confirmation of the authenticated uh, authenticated user it won't you know execute or it won't install any programs in the system so that is the reason why the the security will be more comparatively it is more more compared to you know uh, in the rest of the operating system available okay the next thing is built in networking ability and easy access to the internet definitely uh, as you are using the you know internet as well as you know networking ability in windows or in other operating systems in the same fashion linux also provides that so if you have the linux operating system you directly you can easily using some browsers you can easily uh, surf the internet and you can you know browse the content or you can download the uh, files whatever you require the next thing is increased returns so this is with respect to you know a business perspective or company perspective okay so the, you have two terminology called roi and tco so return on investment as well as total cost of ownership so when you install say for example you have your own company you want say there are 20 employees in your company imagine like this okay so when you have 10 20 employees uh, it is your duty usually it will be the company's duty to provide the resources to those em employees so that their work can be done okay that is the uh, that is the one thing so that is the reason why the, we say that uh, it is uh, you know to install some operating system if it is not free then uh, they have to pay the money isn't it the company has to pay the money for each and every operating system which will be uh, you know installing in any particular uh, 
you know computers okay but when you use a linux operating system it will be easy it will be free isn't it so the total cost will be reduced isn't it overall cost will be reduced that is the one thing the second thing is return on investment that means whatever the uh, investment you put from the business perspective equal amount of returns will be there because uh, as the operating system is free uh, you don't need to pay much say for example i am giving one simple example so if you are going for some operating system which are paid say for example for one installation it requires 5000 means for 20 computers you can calculate the actual amount isn't it so it it is a, it is in terms of you know lakhs isn't it 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 may go up to you know lakhs so you, you can save that money when you go for linux operating system that is the th thing they they say here next multi user and multitasking ability, ability so uh, as as the rest of the operating system supports this even linux supports the same thing so multi user can be you know uh, using that particular system and uh, tasking will be also multitasking ability can be achieved using linux platform next thing is entertaining and educative definitely it, it's you know it supports all the you know uh, movies all the you know uh, you know uh, audio or uh, you know video content or uh, if you go for graphics it is supporting or if you are going for any educative as well as entertaining so it may be for video editing or movie making anything it may be anything all the softwares are available for linux also you can make use of linux operating system for all the entertaining purpose as well as educative purpose that is the thing they say uh, it is one of the feature available in linux so the second, now last one is readily available help that means so there is a concept called man page okay in, in linux you have the concept called man page that means manual it is nothing but a manual that is mainly for commands so if you you have in linux you have n number of commands for each and everything so uh, the main motive of this particular operating system is without using the cursor or without using your touchpad or mouse can you work on linux or can you work on a particular system so for to to work on that you require uh, you know commands isn't it using commands you can perform all, almost all the task that is the main thing okay now to uh, use the commands you you should know what is the meaning of that command say for for example there is one command called ls okay so ls command can be used to list all the files and directories which are present in one particular folder okay that is the thing so if you don't know anything about ls then how can you work on it or whatever the uh, options you put how can you work on it isn't it so that is the reason why you require some help manual help is required to work on any command okay so that is the reason why separate help will be available for uh, this linux so each and every work whatever the work you you know do on that particular linux platform each and every information will be uh, readily available and you can make use of of those uh, information and you can uh, work on linux if you are very new or if you don't know the concept see because see as a human being we cannot remember all the commands which are available isn't it see for networking they have n number of commands for file management they have n number of commands for you know password protection and changing the ownership or creating the directory deleting the directory creating the files deleting the files and uh, you know uh, moving from one directory to another directory or uh, removing something or copying something for each and every operation there will be separate commands so remembering all the commands it's not easy i'm not saying it is impossible it is not easy so if you are getting for you know if you if you if you forget some you know particular particular uh, commands using this manual help or you know pages or you know uh, help which are av readily available in the system you can make use of it isn't it you can read it and you can work on uh, appropriate commands for your um, you know task that is the thing so that is also one of the feature available in linux and there are some uh, some of the linux you know separate, separate you know i have you know listed out some uh, some of the you know points but uh, if you want you can take it i definitely i will share this slide uh, this is not available in the textbook that for your reference i have gone so portable open source and uh, you know portable is nothing but you can uh, you know as you can download it from the internet you can use it for you know uh, for your work isn't it that is the thing next open source obviously i said multi user i already explained so these are the some of the you know points which you have to remember okay i i will you know share this slide don't worry but it is not available in the textbook just i have taken from the internet just for your knowledge i'm, I'm not saying that you have to buy it or you have to learn but it will be good if you if you know some of the uh, features of linux it will be efficient 
okay now the next thing is linux distribution introduction and uh, overview so the, there are some you know distributions of linux what are the what are the kind of you know uh, linux distributions available uh, you should you should know this okay so as they say there are more than 300 distributions of linux okay it is not one two say in, when we compare uh, you know mac or when we when we see uh, windows we have uh, some limited number of you know distributions isn't it or the flavors or versions of windows but when it comes for linux so as it is you know widely used and as as it has as it is a open source it is like some community will start coding and they create their own distribution and some of the companies may start their own distribution and they can roll out that distribution to the internet so that is the reason why there are more than 300 it is not just 300 more than 300 distributions are available uh, in the internet so that you can make use of those kind of flavors of uh, operating system next we say that uh, mainly there are two types uh, one is paid and another free so i said when i i started explanation i said almost all operating in you know, a system flavors are free i'm i'm not saying all it is not like almost all that means there are some flavors of uh, you know linux operating system which can be paid and which has to be paid for say for your commercial purpose for your business you know uh, you know environment but for enhanced security or for uh, you know taking up more care with respect to the files or privacy then you have to pay some money to that particular operating system like red hat okay so our you know uh, you know red hat it is one of the you know operating system uh, which has to be paid you know you have to pay some money to them so free versions that is a light version free versions or you know cracked version so that is a separate part of story but there are some there are very few operating system which you can pay and you can get the almost all benefit from those operating systems that is the thing next for free distributions there are you know debian flavor or fedora there are so many for free there are n number of but when you when you when you when you talk about paid so there are some operating systems which which are taking money from the people okay the next thing is there are two classification there are classifications or versions we can say desktop version and server version okay the de desktop version is nothing but as usual so if you have the laptop or if you have the desktop you are going to install the operating system and you can make use of it for your own benefits but when it comes for server version so it is mainly that the such kind of you know operating system will be mainly installed in servers so that uh, for the better service okay say almost 90 95 percent of the uh, servers are running under linux itself they don't go for other because of the security because of its uh, reliability fastness and you know robustness uh, trustability there are so many there are so many aspects okay so most of the servers are running under linux itself okay so that is the thing you have to remember so the, these are the two versions which are available for uh, linux distribution next crashing and system failures are very rare in linux that is the reason why i say i said no while while uh, uh, explaining about the features of linux i said uh, very rarely you can see the uh, crashing of the system or f system failures okay popping up uh, popping out some errors or some such kind of concepts cannot be seen in uh, linux that is the thing next rpm based linux distribution so this is somewhat different okay so uh, it is something like so uh, when you when you actually use a particular linux then only you are going to get to know that what is the actual difference between you know paid or you know free or what is the actual difference between desktop version or server version what is yum what is rpm and what is just sudo so there are some uh, differences while using the linux itself you are going to get to know this these are the you know actually theoretical concept okay uh, whenever you know time permits definitely i will show you the actual difference okay uh, if the college starts definitely if you have the laptop you can bring to the, bring that laptop to the class so uh, in one laptop we can install uh, we can try to install some paid you know cracked oss if it is available otherwise we can go for some free versions also we can go for red hat or fedora or dpin or you know you can go for ubuntu also there are there are so many so many operating systems which are available under linux platform okay so red hat linux and uh, you know suse linux were the original major distributions that use the rpm file format which is today used in several package management system 
okay so this is one actually this is one of the file format which uh, we are dealing now and uh, in uh, package management also it is available packages are nothing but uh, as seen windows you go for uh, rare files isn't it so zip files or uh, win rare you you would have seen that kind of concept but in linux we have something called packages so same both are actually almost the same we don't have any major differences but the terminology differs okay from one platform to another platform terminology differs but the red hat and suse linux will mainly use rpm based uh, concepts next red hat created the rpm package format for the use of its distribution popular rpm based distribution includes so some of the popular you know uh, distributions which are called you know which are uh, red hat you know r r h e l enterprise linux so that is one next centos we have fedora so there are some operation you know, uh, you know operating system which are you know different types of operating system we have listed out here so uh, that is the one thing so i will upload this you know ppt to that uh, google classroom whenever you want you can download it but if you go for the textbook that is well and good okay so i am you know uh, listing out some points for my uh, reference so that i can explain it better but uh, if you are going for in depth if you are going and if you are going for the examination it is better you refer the textbook both are same you don't have any major difference actually but i i am going for you know smaller concept so that uh, while explaining itself it take more time and it will become more big video so that is the reason why i am doing this so you can uh, refer this ppt or you can go for textbook that is well and good referring the textbook is well and good okay so i already said which textbook to you know refer uh, in text in our library it will it will, uh, uh, it will be available definitely but i did not get the soft copy of this linux textbook so i will try to get it if i don't get then uh, it is better you you get the copy of you know you can get the hard copy of uh, you know, textbook so it will be very easy fine now there are some concepts we have to see fedora for fedora uh, is the upstream of the commercial uh, red hat enterprises linux distribution or you know r h e l we say it is in short okay uh, what makes the fedora special is it uh, uses newer technology and uh, uh, packages from the open source world than uh, r h l so fedora will be more comparatively more good because uh, it is going for it is it is used for commercial purpose as well as it will take some Uh, free or open source code from the outside also so it will be more uh, you know stronger compared to sort of thing now you may ask what you mean by fedora sir see as you are using ubuntu as windows 7 8 or windows 10 in the same fashion fedora also one operating system it is a flavor it is a linux operating system i can say like that okay so uh, say in uh, in uh, in um, uh, fedora you go for yum package manager it is not rpm why yum it is it is yum okay so it is something like yum install vlc or some commands like say for ubuntu how you download vlc vlc is a video player isn't it video audio player it is a it is mainly for multimedia player i can say like that fine vlc i, I, I i'm pretty sure that most of you are familiar with this uh, software application isn't it vlc so if you have ubuntu how to download a vlc using command there should be some active internet connection to your system so you can go for s u d o sudo space install okay in between sudo and install you need to get one um, folder where you can install all the things that is nothing but apt apt ifan get you can go for apt ifan get or you can just go for apt so sudo apt install space vlc so this is the command using this command you can install vlc from the internet and with the safer side actually so you don't get any viruses if you are downloading using command line and you can provide your password and it will be installed and it will be, it will be downloaded it will be installed and it will be ready to use something like that but it is for ubuntu but when you come for you know fedora you have to use yum package it is a package manager yum is a package manager so you have to go for yum install some softwares vlc or you know any media player something like that so that is the uh, difference next for open source open source started out uh, uh, out a german translation of you know slackware linux okay that is one flavor okay next uh, but eventually grew up to uh, grew into its own distribution so open source first it will be uh, it, it was with the slackware linux one version of linux then uh, it it went for standalone thing 
okay uh, they have gone for their own distribution they started their own development and they made their own operating system and they rolled out to the public okay so it is known for kde uh, desktop okay it is a kde is one of the desktop and it is a, and it is stable also fine for package management open source uses uh, zyper and its graphical front end and uh, yes software center so it will be having its own see when 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 we talk about the operating system or different types of operating system it will be having its own uh, package management and it's it will be having its own software centers it is something like say for uh, apple i don't know how many of you are using apple phones so they have their own app store isn't it for windows uh, sorry for uh, android view you, you have play store for uh, windows phones they have uh, their own uh, you know microsoft uh, stores so that that is a difference it 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 is in terms of your mobile phones or smartphones but when it come for laptop for uh, desktop or for any pcs they will be having their own operating system and separate you know uh, centers uh, so for ubuntu ubuntu will be having ubuntu center that is a separate uh, app store from where you can go download your own applications and you can install it uh, in your system so each and every operating system will be having its own center that is the main thing so it is these are the two um, you know main uh, you know operating system which i just downloaded now you have one more concept called deb based distribution deb debian okay so debian is a free operating system for your computer and an operating system is the set of basic programs and utilities that makes your computer run so basic information uh, debian is a free operating system it is a, it, it is a flavor, it is a actual you know actual operating system from which this rest of the operating system has have you know, de you know derived so it is something like ubuntu is also a debian operating system it is running under a debian it is the flavor is a main flavor is debian something like that okay an operating system is the set of basic programs and utilities that make your computer run of the same concept at the core of your of an operating system is the kernel i have already said while explaining the kernel it is a core it is a basic thing and almost all kernel uh, kernel programs are written in using c so in the previous video I, i have already said the kernel is the most fundamental program on the computer and does all the basic housekeeping and lets you start other programs so without kernel you cannot imagine any working of your system that is the reason why you say it is the core okay now there are some of the debian based os are available something like a backtrack or g linux or kali linux or you know parsec pure os astra linux so there there are n number of actually there are n number of debian flavors but i listed out some for your reference ubuntu also come under deb based os itself or debian based os itself okay it may be deep in also zorin you have some operating system called zorin you have centos you have puppy linux okay so there are many there are many operating system out of which i have listed out some some of them okay so uh, this much is enough for this uh, this video so you you can uh, uh, you know figure out all these concepts you can go to internet if you if you want to try your own operating system you can install iso file from the internet and you can try to install but make sure that you don't lose your files it is somewhat tricky if you are not uh, you know if you are very new to installation of the computer system or the operating system then uh, wait for it when college starts i will show you how to install okay so it is a somewhat you know tricky thing because if you make some mistakes all the files which are available in the system may go you may not even recover it back there, there is a one possibility where you may not require you know recover the uh, entire file system itself then it will be a very problem okay uh, you may lose your files or you know photos videos or you know any any resume or it may be anything you you, you may be losing it so don't do that if you are very new don't try to do that but if you are if you have if you are familiar with the installation of a linux operating system or if you are familiar with the dual booting or multi booting then you can try some new flavors of operating system for your work okay so uh, let me wind up the video here uh, uh, rest of the concept we will deal in the next uh, video okay uh, yes thanks for watching